Drew, Loma, Kane, all of these motherfuckers, they have to get it. Do whatever it takes to convince them to give you that product. I'm going back in. I'm a cocky motherfucker. NYPD! I think Diana lied to me today. I just can't figure out why. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J and we're locked in. This is what's next for episode three of Ghost season four. Now, Tariq, he got his car back. Tariq is getting on Monet's good side. And at this point, I don't know how Kane and Noma gonna turn out, but they definitely got Obi up out of here by way of Detective Don Carter because he wants to figure out how the hell did he get these expedited green cards. Now, before we jump into this and we break down what's next in episode three, if you like power content after show discussions, tune in tonight, 2 p.m. Eastern, then hit your subscribe button and turn your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So we need about 1,200 more and we gonna hit that goal. Let's try to get there by the end of June. Now, I gave episode two um, about a seven rating because it kind of gave us a cliffhanger, but it was setting up what's gonna go on between the Russians and Noma and how Monet is gonna adjust to her kids lying. So let's jump into it. This is what's next for episode three of Ghost. Tariq and Brayden are looking to get back in the dope game. And the reason being, they need some money. Now the truce with Noma is so there's no money on their head. But they can't sell any dope, they can't move any dope, and Tariq is only making $11 an hour at the candy shop, folding clothes, and doing all kinds of other stuff on Stansfield. Now what we see is them in a warehouse. Now this warehouse could be them trying to get some drugs from some outside sources because we know that Noma's pretty much got New York locked up. So you're gonna have to go to some lower level guys in order to get some product that aren't dealing with like bricks per se. Maybe a couple of OZs here and there, but no major weight. We can tell that it isn't gonna be major weight because we see the hand-to-hand -hand transactions. So Tariq and Braden, they're going back to where they began. Remember they were slaying an aspirin back at Choke. Now it's just gonna be out here, just a little bit here, just a little bit there, just to put some money in their pockets. Now, they're going to have the guidance from Davis because remember, Don Carter approached Tariq in episode two. Don Carter also approached Davis in episode two. So he's starting to do his sweeps. He's starting to figure things out. And they mentioned that Rico in episode two at the very beginning. So with Tariq doing this low level stuff, he got his Porsche back. He's going to have to be a little more discreet. And we're going to have to see where he's moving because selling on the campus, this might be tough. But there is an out. Remember, Bushandri was there and the girl that was singing said she needs a new connect. So this might be the person that they start to supply. We see them talking to Davis. And of course, Davis has his own thing going on because he's still suspended at the moment. But he's telling Tariq and Braden, y'all need to make this convincing as possible to get back in the game because he needs money also. Remember, he turned down the $200,000 bounty. He also going to need some money in his pocket because he can't practice law since he's suspended so these two are going to be the only thing now we do see in this trailer that there's some underground fighting and you never speak about fight club but it looks like davis might be showing them there's other means of making some money we could go in here we can bet some money underground we can get paid off of these fighters now i think there was a clip where we seen kane's going to be in here this might be his way of trying to get close and keep an eye on what Tariq and Braden got and try to disrupt whatever money they're making by these different fighters underground. We'll probably be getting introduced to a new character. He might be a small town supplier, but for Tariq and Braden at this moment, this is gonna be something they're just gonna have to deal with. Now remember, Braden, he's doing real estate now. Tariq is still in school, but he doesn't have time to study. So I don't know how this is gonna fit into his schedule. One thing we can say, Tariq, he is a hustler. No matter what, whatever's on his plate, he's gonna get out there and try to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Now, I'm assuming that this van is the same van that we seen Kane filling up before Noma pulled up on him. Remember, he was watching down the street and we seen a couple of guys filling it up. So this might be Tariq and Braden either going at him or the Russians might be upset that Kane, being a Tejada, is dealing with Noma. And they said that they only want to deal with Effie and they don't want any issues with Monet because that little truce that they had is over with. But whoever this is, the product is being destroyed. I don't believe that Tariq and Braden are moving work at this point yet. 
because this is a lot of stuff for them to just be getting back in the game. And we've seen that it's going to be hand to hand action as far as the streets go for them. Don Carter is going above and beyond. We've seen him step down on Davis. We've seen him pull up on Tariq. We've seen him go ahead and arrest Obi. And now he's chasing down somebody. Whoever this is, let me tell him. You're not a main character, so Don Carter is probably about to get aggressive. We see him hem him up against the fence, and he's going to be asking all the right questions. Now, this might be somebody that's either working with Kane or the new crew that Braden and Tariq are going to be working for. But Don Carter, when he wants answers, he wants them now. Now, he's not really dealing with the Tejada so much at this point, so I'm assuming that this might be someone that he's seen with Tariq, and he's just trying to get some answers out of him. One thing we know in the Power Universe, there's always gonna be someone that will fold and give up that information to turn someone else in because no one wants to do jail time. We got the underground fight scene here. You know there's a lot of money being made down here. A couple five bands here, 10 bands there. Sometimes you got a high roller, maybe a 2015, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on the night. But Davis is in here in a suit, so we know that he's been here several times or one of these people are his client. You know, hey, I've been getting into some legal trouble. You know, I fight down here. You come down here. Maybe Davis does some side bets, especially since he's suspended. But you look at Tariq and Braden, this is not the environment that they're used to. But there has to be something here. And I'm thinking it's the money because we do see a woman with a briefcase and it looks like they're right outside of some abandoned warehouse, probably where these fights are going down. We see a full briefcase of money right here. This lady is showing it to Tariq and Braden. Now, I'm assuming that this is probably money to gamble on or, hey, we are investors. Davis probably hooked them up. You guys pick the fighters. We'll give you the money. You get you a little cut or something of that nature. I'm not sure yet. Maybe Braden then brokered a deal with a building and they're bringing him cash for it. Some unsavory characters. But either way, these two, they need to come up on some bread. And if this is what they got to do, go to some underground fights. They got to make some shady deals in the real estate market. Then, hey, so be it. At this point, we're already chest deep into all the BS. We're trying to survive. This is the last season. We don't have anything else to lean on. OB in here. I don't think he's going to fold. But then again, to get the green cards and actually keep his family here, they're expedited. It finally went through. No one knew a little bit about it. But to finally get him and then Don Carter arrest you and he wants answers, I can see Obi giving up a little bit of information, not enough to bring anybody down, especially after Noma kicked him out of the room and it was just her and Kane and basically was asking Kane for information. And then Effie is running the play with the Russians. So this is kind of eliminating Obi from the whole organization. Now he does have Tariq's back because Tariq helped him out. So I can see him trying to sell Noma down the road. Hey, survival is a must. Kane and Noma are getting close. She asked him to discuss um, the operations about moving some new weapons, some new product through the Russians because she had a surplus and he handled it. We just mentioned Obi getting kicked out the room after choking him out. So Kane, he's moving up the ladder. We can see some tension between the two. And you know, everybody gets lonely at night. So maybe Noma's pushing up on young Kane and she just tested him seeing if he's really qualified to be that right-hand man. Him and Effie, they got a little thing going on, but he separated himself from her because she be on her own thing. And right now, this is an opportunity to move up the ranks and be right next to Noma and be in charge. Monet's been questioning the kids and wondering, who can she trust? She talked to Tariq. Diana said it was Tariq, but then she said it wasn't Tariq. Kane, he keeps pushing. Hey, we need to be putting eyes on Tariq, Drew, Diana. They were about to mess with the medicine. So Monet hearing all of this and observing everyone's characters and watching and looking and nervous, having flashbacks. She doesn't know who she can trust. But right now, she does feel like Diana lied to her. And Diana's been lying the whole time. Diana's also pregnant. But remember, Diana was the one that set up the hit. But when the season started this year, she didn't want anything to happen to Monet. She's even telling Drew, we're better than this. So it's really up to Diana how she's going to move from this point. Monet don't trust her. We don't trust her. And we know whenever she gets at this dinner table, she might tell the whole world 
every single detail of every single scenario event that went down. So Diana, she's pretty much in the corner. She's gonna have to team up with Tariq and figure out who this baby's father is. And also watch her back because we heard Monet, she don't trust anybody. All right, there you go. What's next for episode three of Power Book 2 Ghost, the final season? Let me know what you think. Is Tariq and Brayden about to be doing some gambling in the underground fight scene? And also, is Kane going to be able to get close to Noma and actually take over that right hand number two spot for the Noma organization? Let me know what you think. Make sure you tune in tonight, 2 p.m. Eastern for On The Clock, where we talk about each individual character. We break it down about four to five hour live. We're going to have a good old time. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So if I said something to make you think or make you go, hmm, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'm out.